Ladies and gentlemen, it has been far too long. I can admit it. I know you guys are thinking it, but we are finally back. Summer Spin to win episode six. And the reason it's been so delayed is because I promised before this episode I would play a couple games off camera with my Spin to win lineup. And it took me like a week and a bit until I was actually able to have some time to do that. But today we have done that. I will get into it in just a few moments. But in case you did miss last episode, we did bounce back with a win. As you can see here, we are now on the one spot on the board, which six episodes in, definitely not very good. Now, in the process of winning, we actually got to keep our pack pull from earlier in the video, which was Diamond Roy Hibber. And we also won the game, meaning we got a spin, which left us with first page Diamond. And on that first page, we had T-Mac, we had PG-13, we had Steph, we had Joel Embiid. And that is what I left up to the comment section. Now, on that video, 823 comments. Oh my goodness, how did I wait this long to make the next episode? And the comments were pretty much in agreement here. Get T-Mac to replace Lou Will. Take Diamond Tracy McGrady without a doubt. Great vid by the way take diamond t-mac he is limitless and a great release all right and i'm not gonna make it more suspenseful than it needs to be or anything we did take diamond t-mac and as you can see i actually replaced jabari parker with him i really like lou will even though he's kind of a defensive liability which is a problem but either way we replaced an emerald and t-mac is obviously fire his attributes obviously could be better i could really use a three-point shoe on him it would also probably give him sharp takeover which he doesn't currently have but the big two additions they're limitless range and deep range dead eye i love t-mac man this was a pretty easy decision and it was with this lineup constructed this way that we actually decided to play two games off camera i wanted to get to the three spot on the spin to win board and obviously i had to win both i can't cheat so and i'm gonna cut to footage of this morning of me playing right now and as you can see i was actually 10 and 1 when i booted up 2k this morning i took a really brutal loss yesterday we, we don't need to talk about it i was trying to go 12 and 0 but 10 and 1 which means we needed to get to 11 and 1 and then 1 and 0 to have back-to-back -back wins so you are gonna watch me do just that and in the first game our opponent uh he wasn't that great like i could tell it was gonna be a blowout and honestly it was an easy first win we had a lot of wilt chamberlain early i love getting wilt with takeover because obviously it's post scoring and it's pretty op when i did bring in the bench t-mac was on fire and one of the reasons i put t-mac off the bench is so we had a spark i had someone to go to there so through this first game against not a great opponent it worked pretty well as you can see t-mac really really heating up i'm not going to show you the highlights from this whole game i was up by like 30 in the first first half so obviously i knew we were gonna get the w and as you can see on the board 11 and 1 congratulations i think i pulled a amethyst throwback elite so 2k needs to update those rewards but anyways into the second game the team we faced much much better he had pink diamond mellow a bunch of diamonds and honestly this was just you know a classic battle so here are some of the highlights As you can see, things going well. T-Mac once again playing good. I think I got takeover with him. Not sure if I showed that, but here in the third quarter with my starters in, I pulled away. I went on a really gnarly run. I was scoring with like everybody, man. I had a really good Giannis game in this one. Damian Lillard chipped in with a few shots. It's tough to get Marcus Smart going, but I did in this game. As you can see, he ended up hitting two threes, the second of which really made this man angry, and he did indeed quit. And now as we look back at our spin to win board, you can see we do move to the three spot before we even play the main video, the main game, I should say, in this video. So it's all good stuff. Now, as I always say, when we play games off camera, I don't do any upgrading or anything for those games. They're just to help us along on the board. So we're at the three spot now. Let's get into the next bit of business. I'm going to open playoff throwbacks because Carmelo, Brandon Roy, uh, all the way down. I don't really want Nick Van Exel and Steve Kerr, but the top end, yep. And I truthfully haven't busted open like any packs in a good little while here the Derek Rose packs I didn't try uh when these first dropped nope and this is why okay let's stay positive man we got Diamond Roy Hibbert last time Ruby who is it Demar nah honestly I don't even know if like Steve Kerr the Ruby in this set oh my goodness it happened it's happening 
first pink diamond pull of summer spin to win um who is it is it stockton or malone it's malone um dude i have so many big men on this team but malone is so nice this one doesn't have the ball control of the galaxy opal obviously but i heard he's really good okay that is very very interesting i'm just gonna rocket through the rest of this packs if we pull a galaxy opal i will show you oh we actually pulled a diamond here second to last pack is it uh who is it oh al horford okay i just felt like including that my pack luck this morning really good now obviously it goes without saying i would have rather pulled a galaxy opal card here but i'm not going to complain about carl malone now here's the thing i really like this lou will card in theory i could move tracy to shooting guard and play that malone at small forward because he is kind of a small ball type player but this carl malone doesn't have ball control and i don't want to go too crazy without a position so carl anthony towns you're cool you've actually been pretty good but i am actually going to replace you with carl malone and remember we have to win in order to keep this carl so it might not happen he's got really good post moves 85 open shot three this is really that galaxy opal collection reward just without the ball control isn't it life's crazy 13 hall of fame badges okay it's happening screw it we're keeping in lou will he's our one remaining not so great card i honestly might have rather pulled that john stockton but it is what it is carl malone into the lineup our bench might be better than our starters i love the balance let me go get to 4-0 and on the spin to win board let's go and i still don't think we've accomplished the challenge this video oh it's gonna be tough but we'll see what we can do here i need to do this eventually right like our team is looking nice but i could really use a good oh my goodness all right player scores 40 plus can we do that hey i doubt it and our opponent today bring in a little something something there full diamond slash pink diamond squad 98 overall so i think overall his team is just as good if not better than mine on paper let's go i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm kind of more excited to see what my bench can do in this game like i'm not I'm not gonna not gonna lie i think that's more exciting but my starting unit i really like the group we have the one problem i don't have a shooter out here who has three point shoes who has three point who has three point plays to run i think actually maybe dame but i wish marcus smart did so it's a little bit tough and we're letting up a wide open three but he's sagging off marcus smart oh he has gary payton on him though that is really not good all right first possession this is trash let me see if i can just get bailed out with a little wilt chamberlain post fade <laughs> It's too easy, bro. Let's just see how we perform against this man who is just straight off bowling. He's off uh, Wilt Chamberlain now, but look at... Okay, get the rebound, Wilt. Thank you. I kind of saw that playing out when Giannis was going to miss. Come on in transition. This is where we can get any shooter open. Marcus Smart. Oh, baby. Marcus I dude okay I struggle getting Marcus Smart open usually when he is though it's like green release or cash and that probably should have been one of the things I was really going to here earlier when I was playing those games is uh Giannis as the roll man or in this case the fade man because I really like his spot up three-point jumper on this card it's gonna be a struggle to score in this game I can already see Marcus Smart you're not missing the exact same shot twice in a row thank you very much missed it to start the game from that spot but in transition he is money I like how he gets his feet set really nicely Look at these clamps from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Look at these clamps, man. That was that possession was unbelievable. Good rebound by Carl Malone, okay? Making an impact already. I mean, he just grabbed a rebound, but it was gorgeous. With my bench in, I now have T Mac, who does have three point plays, of course, the one I like. So that is money. Is that a good look? Okay, I actually pretty much thought it was. Thankfully, Roy Hibbert there on the glass. All right, this dude really can't score on my bench right now with his bench in here. It is a it is a problem for him. Uh, T Mac pop out for three. Come on, court spacing. There we go. You're not missing two in a row t-mac are you two in a row no thank you i'm actually still working through t-mac's jumper it's a bit weird like there's certainly a spot you need to release it for even if it's not green for it to go down so uh it looked good there i did feel good on that release and give me that steal carl malone i read that from a mile away okay carl keep running the floor keep running the floor let's that he really just lou will stole that lob pass and then carl got that was supposed to be an epic way to end the first quarter with my new additions but okay guess not i actually really wanted to get my hands on the galaxy opal carl malone when that set dropped but uh the reason for that is because his ball control and speed is just op this card definitely not like that but i think his finishing and his post scoring will probably still make him really good roy hibbert you can't leave him open in the corner sir look at this mismatch we got carl malone on uh carmelo anthony carmelo is uh he's a bit of a beefy boy but that doesn't mean we can't just spin off him go to the rim that's too easy man those hall of fame badges just like that we have an 11 point lead is this gonna be a blowout he just cannot score my defense is suffocating i'm pulling this with t-mac yep yep that's a point guard that's not a shot contest 
and that is exactly the kind of three that felt really good when I released it. It's so weird, like the timing of his shot, but I definitely got it there. And we're definitely building a nice lead here. 14 points. I guess I should bring my starters back in or we could just keep running with the bench because uh, this unit is a lot of fun. I would actually love if this three point play, uh, because it has a pick and roll option after, ah, I was going to say I would love if T-Mac and, and Carl Malone ran it, but it's T-Mac and Roy Hibbert. It's all good. Set me a good screen here, Roy, uh, into the corner. Okay, somebody's wide open. Oh, it was Carl Malone, but I turned the ball over. No. Carl putting in work on the glass. Took a terrible shot with him that he was never going to make, but yeah, okay. He grabs the rebound, strong finish back up and in. I like it. Look at Roy Hibbert with defensive and rebounding takeover. Let me find out Roy Hibbert is the key to success on this team. Come on now. Come on, Carl Malone. Off the dribble. We're going to try it, Carl. The ball control isn't, isn't that great, but the pull-up jump shot also isn't that great. Again, though, Roy Hibbert on the glass. What a champ. 16-point lead. Do we really have another rage quit today? What a day. All right, my opponent not quitting in this game. Fair enough. He better not quit now because I do want to see the stats, but I, I am trying to make him, you know, I'm trying to win this game by as much as possible here. Okay, just like that, my man's made it a 16-point game. Okay, okay. No more trying to force the Carl Malone. It's just, it's not working this game. It's fine. I'm sure he's a really good card. We will force the T-Mac instead. Wide open. That was a two. Let's get out in transition. Maybe this is the key to success. Look at Carl. Yes, cutting behind the defense. I do like that he seems to run the floor. There are certain big men cards who just don't do that. And that was a good run. We'll bring our starters in to close this game out. 20 point lead. I think we do have it. My defense this game has just been on point. Like I, my, my opponent, he's not trash. He's been trying a lot of different stuff, but finally I was on a bad run with my defense like last week, but now I'm starting to play some, uh, some pretty good basketball here. Wes on. So let's beat him off the dribble. Yes. Right to the rim. What a dunk over D-Rob. My word. All right, boy, this gameplay's not getting any better than that, boys. We have blown this man out. Wes Unsell just ended David Robinson. Video over. Game over. Let's go. And we did end up with a 24-point win. So very productive day today in terms of winning. I've gotten some really fortunate matchups, man. I'm this close to, I think, facing Galaxy Opal teams. But while we don't have to, I will take it. And in terms of our team, T-Mac was cool, yeah? Like I said in the video in the gameplay, his jump shot is weird to me where there's like a certain point where even if it's not green it's gonna go in but tough to reach that uh that point three guys in double figures my man carl malone struggled a bit but i'll figure out how to use him i'm definitely okay with adding a pink diamond from a pack our first pd pull of the series let's go and obviously now we were on the three spot in the board after our two wins earlier we move to the four spot let's get it going boys and as always we've got a win reward these are almost guaranteed to be fire i guess we could still technically get like a ruby card upgrade which wouldn't be great it would technically help us but either way man i'm ready to go let's get it let's get some fire here and we do get oh no oh no <laughs> Okay, so random card 2K empty central. That is where we literally search the whole database of 2K. We get any card and I put that greater than sapphire. It has to be sapphire or better. So if a sapphire pops up, we take it, but nothing lower. So no emeralds, no golds. And here we are on 2K empty central. We're doing it first shot, no rigging it, no editing or anything. Here is the site 2K empty central. There is a random player button. I actually made a whole draft, the random player button draft. Go watch it if you haven't. It was a fire video. Random player, sapphire or better. Three, two, wait hold on hold on i'm gonna try and pick up my map okay here we go three two one let's see what it nope. is okay bob lanier that does not count it's less than a sapphire that was a little bit anticlimactic let's try it again three two one as we get okay. mm. troy brown oh for two let's try that again come on 2k and t central three two what <laughs> Bro. What's wrong with you? Okay, no more dramatics. Just give me a random player that is in the... A gold does not count. Okay, this is just getting Dale Ellis free agent card. That also doesn't... I don't have a Dale Ellis free agent card. So let's go to the next one. Dan Marley. Really? After all that, you didn't even wind me up to get like a pink dime? Bro, I'm disappointed. You seem so sad to me. I am very high key disappointed also because there's nothing for you guys really to comment here. So it is simple. I do like my man Lou Will, but there's no question we do need to replace him if we have the option. Um, I don't really think I used him at the beginning of the year. A defensive card, which is kind of nice with Shea Gill just there. Both good defenders. 92 open shot. Three. Does he have? Yeah, really bad ball control. That's tough. But it is what it is, I suppose. That was a bit of a bit of a rough, you know, upgrade. Like it could have been so far. I guess it still technically could have been worse. 
We are all Ruby and above now. Our team is a 96 overall. We're not going to get too many more of these cake matchups. Do I need to adjust the lineup at all? Do you think T-Mac and Carl Malone, for example, need to get in the starting lineup? Let me know down below. Go nuts in the comment section with all your thoughts. I'm sorry it took so long to get this next episode out, but here we are. And that's it, guys. A pink diamond pull on NBA 2K19 Summer Spin to Win, episode 6. It is in the books. As mentioned, I hope you did all enjoy. It was a bit of a break, but we are back. We are looking better than ever, so let me know what you thought of it down below and by hitting that thumbs up button. But that is all I got for this one, guys. I'm Jay Canada. You all stay golden. Uh -huh.